Welcome to this session on change management. We're going to look at the change curve today. Um, I have two videos, this one on a simplified change curve uh, belonging to Elizabeth Kubler-Ross and the other one is John Fisher, a more complex model. But I think if we start here, it gives us a chance to think about how do people react when a change falls upon them? This could be a personal change that they're having to go through, but in my case, I want us to think about change happening in organisations. So there you are, you've been sitting in your office, you've been sitting um, in the canteen, and somebody announces there's a big change happening. How do people react to that? Well, let's have a look at this model and see what it tells us. So first of all, we better get some axes in place. There we go. And we better call these axes. Um, so this one, we're going to look at impact. And this one, time. But also, I think, the integration of change. So you're going through a process whereby you're integrating that change. So how might we respond to that? One of the ways we can respond is just simply shock, shock, horror. What is going on here? Is this yet another change? What idiot came up with this one? Shock, horror, a response which is very prevalent in organisations today. So some people will go very quickly into denial. Denial. What is all this about? Let's just leave it alone. Let's get on with our work. We've seen some of these ideas coming before. They just go away. Let me get on with things. And so they deny that any change is going to happen. Now another option is they could go straight in to resistance. There is no simple route. It's not a matter of going, we start here, we finish there. Each person has their own response, perhaps depending on their personality, perhaps on their previous experience of change. So somebody might just go into resistance. And that can appear in a whole variety of ways. Resistance could be anger. It could be just frustration. It could be sadness, couldn't it? There's a whole variety of ways in which we can imagine the impact of this change on ourselves. So this is a time where perhaps emotions are high, certainly with anger and frustration. The issue is I can recognise anger. I can probably recognise frustration. I won't always recognise sadness or depression because people will go quiet, perhaps they'll go off sick, but they'll be quiet and it's less likely that I will notice the impact of the change on these people. So we need to start thinking about how do we have communication with people to find out what they really think. Now, another alternative, or perhaps on the journey, you know, we could start to explore. So exploration. Maybe it's not all that bad. I've maybe been on this training course and I'm beginning to get an idea about what they're talking about. It's, um, it's maybe something I can become competent at. I wonder if that's possible. Uh, you know, I've had some good conversations with my boss and, and she's quite uh, motivated by this and she said that I'll do well at it. It's possible, isn't it? So this part here, exploration, I haven't accepted that this is going to happen and I'm okay with it. It's simply saying earlier on, 
Well, maybe it's not as bad as I thought. Let's continue. And if I continue on, then perhaps somewhere along the way, I can reach acceptance. So if we think of this as a change curve, and that's what it's called, then we might think it could be something like this. But what I do want you to understand is this is a flowing process through an individual. I don't have to start here with shock. I might be used to it by now. I don't have to go into denial. I don't even have to go into resistance. Maybe I've had some good experiences with change, so I just want to do a little bit of exploration and then go on my way. Even if I start in exploration, perhaps it's not turning out quite how I thought. So I'm beginning to get a bit frustrated and angry. And then I'm going to go start all over again, going back the way towards acceptance. So there could be a meeting that I attend and new information comes out. I get a different perspective of what's going on and it just pushes me back. Then I clamber forward and I'm moving to integrate the change and accepting it. Once I'm up here, the impact is very positive. At this level, it's quite negative. So negative. Another way that you can think about this is our perception somewhere around exploration here. This is looking back the way. So looking back. Perhaps the way it used to be. If only it could be the way it used to be. Why do they need to keep changing? So looking back the way. Somewhere about here, I can start looking to the future. So there's the start of the curve. Now on the website, there will be a little bit of material which supports each of the videos. If you want more information, go there and you will find it there ready to download. Thank you. Have a good change day.